Kia ora team, so I have an article here, I'll leave in the description box, you read it, come to your own conclusions as usual, but it looks like Luis Ortiz has ducked a fight with Anthony Joshua, there's some statements in the article from Jay Jimenez, one of Ortiz's managers, and he talks about Anthony Joshua's just been using Luis Ortiz's name as publicity it's all a gimmick but then he turns around and says we've rejected Eddie Hearn's lowball offers so for me if it was a gimmick there wouldn't have been offers there was no contract sent because no offers were accepted so it is what it is a duck now there's no confirmation of what the offer was yet but wait for it I'm sure that's going to come out since nothing was signed the low ball offer well a low ball offer would be less than what Luis Ortiz was offered to fight Deontay Wilder which was $500,000 we all know Jarrell Miller was getting around six and a half million dollars for a fight against Anthony Joshua. I expect Luis Ortiz was offered less than that because he's not signed with the zone, for starters. Another point is Luis Ortiz is not unbeaten. So that value goes down somewhat. I'd expect Luis Ortiz was offered somewhere between three and five million dollars. Three million dollars is six times his highest payday. Five million dollars is what? Eight times his highest payday? So it's a duck. All the talk from Luis Ortiz about Anthony Joshua was a pussy. Um, you know, recently he talked about he was if he was offered two million dollars to fight Dillian White, he would have jumped on that. Um, but he didn't, or maybe the offer wasn't real. I don't know. I'm not going to argue that point. But whatever way you want to look at it, it's a duck from Luis Ortiz. Now I think some other points that have got to do with this is Luis Ortiz is a PBC fighter and PBC seem to have a big time grudge against Anthony Joshua at the moment they're trying to shut him out for some reason but they're trying to make it sound like Anthony Joshua is always the one to blame I don't believe that's the case so moving onwards there has to be an opponent announced very soon for this July, uh, sorry, June 1st fight for Anthony Joshua. For me, there's only three candidates left that would suit for an American debut. And that would be Andy Ruiz Jr., who's also announced that he's in the mix he's meeting with team joshua i'll also leave that article in the description if you want to go and have a look at that there's trevor bryan the wba interim title holder not that anybody really wants to see that fight trevor bryan hasn't fought any decent heavyweights the closest thing to a um, heavyweight he had fought um, was the ex cruiserweights uh, shit, I can't remember his name. BJ Flores. He beat him to get that interim title. So, not a proven heavyweight. He is American, however, so that does bode well for him. And the other candidate is also ex cruiserweight, who is signed with Matru and the zone in Michael Hunter. Another American, but. You know, everybody's going to be saying, oh, he's just a blown up cruiserweight. However, he did beat Alexander Ustinov. 
to get his position so out of those three the one I'd like to see most would be Andy Ruiz Jr. I think he brings a lot of pressure he's not the tallest fighter he's only six foot two but he brings a lot of pressure he's got fast hands he hits hard and yeah that's the one I'd like to see out of those three candidates so let us know your thoughts on the situation and get a bit of discussion going and uh, we'll go from there so I hope you've enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel give the thumbs up if you have enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one